Hello everyone, this is Alex from Album Studio. In today's video, we are going to solve a problem, which is how can you create a bootable Mac OS X drive using Windows 11. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use as a test specimen my old MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2009, which I haven't been using a while. I've replaced an SSD and now I will need to reinstall my Mac OS X from zero. If you're interested, let's go to the video. To create your bootable Mac OS drive with El Capitan using Windows, first of all, you will need to download Balena at etcher.balena.io. I already have it installed, so if you don't have it, you can download it from this website. Okay, now I'm going to my applications. I will start Balena Etcher. Okay, so this is the dialog box we are using. I will enter my USB drive. So I'm using SanDisk with 16 gigabyte of storage. Okay, so you can see that I have downloaded my El Capitan DMG over here. So let's select our DMG file. Okay. Okay, it looks like the boot of okay. So ignore it. Select our target, this one. Okay, select and let's flash it. Okay, so the flashing process has started. I don't know what has popped up in the back. It should take us around six to ten minutes to finish the process. So we are almost finished writing our disk. Okay, data is transferred and now is validating by the program. It will take like a few seconds. Okay, so it's finished. Now we can close the program. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, so this dialog box is closed. It was something with the Windows system. Okay, so let's see our drive. Okay, so it's over here. Windows cannot read it, which is okay since this is a Mac partition now. Now I'm going to insert this disk into my old MacBook. Okay, so this is the laptop. It has no operation system at all. This is MacBook Pro 15 inch 2009 with Core 2 Duo and the maximum operating system that it supports is El Capitan. So let's put inside our thumb drive. Okay, turn on the laptop. Let's click Alt over here. You need to click it as soon as you hear that MacBook is on. Okay, it's on. Let's click it. Okay, so we have the installation drive El Capitan. We have the Apple logo. And I'm 100% sure that this method works. So this is how you create a bootable thumb drive for your MacBook using Windows. In case if you don't have any second Mac. So we have created successfully our bootable macOS thumb drive using Windows. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for similar content. Take care. Hope to see you soon.